And speaking of streaming, the streaming wars are escalating with Disney Plus launching today. It's the latest streaming service competing with current offerings like Netflix, Hulu, CBS All Access, and Apple TV. NBC Universal and Warner Media are expected to release their own new platforms early next year. Jonathan Vigliotti reports on how all of this could cost consumers more than they're already paying. They're calling it the new golden age of television. Switch to manual navigation. More choices than ever before. But for Roseanne Ramirez and her two kids, it poses very modern challenges. I just don't see the point in paying for so much streaming and cable and everything all at the same time. I think that's just too many. Too many networks, too many streaming shows, too many just overall. The family currently has traditional cable and watches some of their favorite shows and movies on Netflix and YouTube. What's the max number of streaming services that you see yourself having at any given moment? I think it depends on, I guess, what's on them, how much I'm paying, but I would probably say between three and five would be max. Nearly 70% of Americans subscribe to at least one streaming platform. And a new Wall Street Journal poll finds Americans are willing to pay for an average of 3.6 streaming services or spend $44 per month. But choosing which platforms to support can be tricky, especially as media giants like Disney grab their original content back from other services. For years, all of these big entertainment companies have been licensing a lot of their shows to Netflix. And then now what they've realized is we need that programming on our own platforms to survive. Amol Sharma is the Wall Street Journal's media editor. This is still Netflix's game to lose. They have 158 million customers around the world. They're way ahead of everybody. But there really is a threat from all of these new services. They they each have something special that they bring to the table. Let's say you want to watch high profile shows from each of eight different streaming platforms. Programs like Netflix's Stranger Things, Amazon's Fleabag and HBO Succession. Staying current on all of these programs from all of these streaming services won't come cheap. We've added it all up and depending on what service you subscribe to, you could be paying anywhere from around 68 bucks to as much as one hundred thirty four dollars. Sharma says the average cable bill runs around $90 a month and points out that viewers who turn to streaming will need to factor in the costs of a smart TV or an internet device and high-speed internet plan. Sharma believes customers need to consider how much time and money they want to spend watching TV. You're going to have to make some choices to keep an eye on your budget, and that means only the shows that you absolutely want to watch week after week and the movies that you absolutely need to have access to. And one more thing to keep in mind, streaming companies are concerned more customers will share their passwords to cut costs. I have absolutely no idea what they're talking okay. about. <laughs> a coalition that includes Amazon, a coalition, and this is scary, that includes Amazon, Netflix, HBO, and Disney is now discussing tactics to address the issue, reportedly including periodic password resets and oh, restricting access no. based on geographical location. So, Gail, you're going to have to make some tough choices coming up. I was going to say, Jonathan, <laughs> somebody's looking at your account right now. They <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. But I think if you've got kids in the house, yep. Disney Plus is a lot for you. Look at all yeah. the original content that you get. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to have new, their original programming, and they're going to have new original content, too. But there's a lot of options out there. CBS All Access, I think, will soon have some Nickelodeon programming. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Could happen. But it's, it's, it can all be really overwhelming. Yeah. Mean, the like... most important thing is keep watching television. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The best advice of all.